Hi guys, I should be back. I was struggling trying to change the really was working. I had a host and I didn't know, I didn't knew how to fix it. So I'm back and I will try to get again on the stream. I'm going to model the bear for later I'm going to try to use it on Maya to change the the model and use it on Maya with action so let's try to get this thing working uh, I think it's working right now I have some reference uh, from City Beast City Beast Illustration it's amazing work from these guys so also have some facial expressions to work on the face of the of the guy, I think I'm going to use something like this. And also I have some other illustration from these same guys that I'm using CD Beast again, just to work on the face, on the main face of the stream. And you already tell me that it's working so I'm live again. So thank you so much. Uh, let me put everything together and let's start working on the room on the room on the model and after this i'm going to work on the room actually i was trying to move this model and work on maya because i have uh, great uh, loops here but i think i'm not going to do that and i'm going to use uh, duplicate i'm going to hide the other mesh and go to use a dynamesh so yeah i'm going to use a dynamesh oh no i'm going to delete lower and use a dynamesh here i didn't want to go to a dynamesh because i'm going to lose a lot of detail on the fa on the on, on the loops but let's try to make everything on saber so i'm going to work directly on the dynamesh i need to open the yard work actually to see the face, this is the base artwork that we're going to use. It's a uh, work from Ive Sinclair for the daily speed paint. I'm going to try to get this work in the way it should. I'm going to start with the move tool to get the shape right. And we have a uh, quite long face on this bird and a little butterfly on top of the bird on the nose, on top of the nose of the bird so we need to have that detail over here also Uh, this is the second video, I have the first video on uh, YouTube but some people, I was making the stream in Spanish but some people were asking me to make the stream in English so I'm going to try to make the, the stream at least I'm going to make one stream in English I'm going to try to make one in Spanish to work and um, to work on both languages uh, I'm just blocking out the geometry, I'm not working, I don't want to work fast, I'm not that fast in, in Sabresh, but I want to have a great geometry to work, at least to block out for the face, I'm not going to make some, some really close render, I'm going to try to stay with the main concept and not to make so, so close renderers, but who cares? I'm going to try to make it the best that I can with the information that I have. And the ears of the concept are a little bit pointy. So I'm going to make and to pull the ears. Something over here. Okay. I'm not going to adjust the resolution just yet. I'm going to wait a little bit to have 
uh, more definition and phase before adding new resolution. And my bear is sleeping, so it should be uh, broken. <laughs> And the face, the, the gel, it shouldn't be too uh, perfect, the position. Maybe the jaw should be on the lock and the top part of the face of the, the mouth should be in a different angle just to see that he's quite slipped and he, dis he can't even see that he, he has a butterfly on top of his head and flying on his nose as the cancer part. So I'm going to try to emulate that feeling and that this little guy that is quite big, it's dead and he's quite deep in his sleep. So he's not going to realize that anything is happening to his face. I think I have a quite nice block here. You can see the full model. I'm right now working on the definition of the face and I think that with this I need a little bit over here and I'm going to move to the dam standard to make the mouth. I know that I'm going to need more definition but I'm going to work the block of the geometry first and after that I'm going to work everything else so don't worry I know that I need everything and I need to fix the resolution but I don't really want to make that fix quite yet so I want to push the limit of the geometry and to have everything with the lowest resolution that I can so when I move to the other resolution, the bigger, the higher resolution, I don't lose anything. So I have the most that I can from the detail that I have. And I don't, I, I don't really need too much definition on this, on this side. So I just need the shape of the mouth to work and that's it. So not thinking on anything else than just to make it work. I'm going to make a little bit pointy the nose and on the concept it's uh, quite rough. It's a plane completely. It should be something like this. But maybe, maybe, maybe I can make it something like that not that pointy just the angle over here let's go to the polish high quality polish and let's move to uh, something's happening over here Something weird just happened. Let me see. Okay. And now I have a better resolution mesh and I can start working on the draw. So maybe something like this and the move tool again. For the commands, I'm using brush and move for move tool B, M and T for the brush move tool. So B, M and T should be the move tool. So for the shortcuts, B, M, T, apply the subway sandwich. So it's quite easy to remember. I don't know guys, if you are using shortcuts of, or you're using interfaces, I prefer to have a clean interface and to work with shortcuts. So there you go. He's deep asleep in this place. 
I don't want to model the tits, so I will have uh, a mouth, his mouth cl close, quite shut, and we're here. This one are not the details, right? I'm just trying to move everything and to have everything the way it should. I'm just blocking out. After that, I'm going to use a basic zero measure. I didn't want to, but I'm going to use a basic zero measure just to have the, the model. Okay, we are close. We now need some details on the face. I like a lot to use the the move tool to block the forms. I don't know why, but I'd really like to block the base of everything with the move tool. So I don't know the workflow that you guys like to use. I prefer the move tool like a lot. It's amazing. It's quite easy to use. It's non-destructive. So you always know what you're doing and how you're doing it. So I really, really like to use the, the move tool. I'm going to use the demo standard to make the shape for the eyes. Where they are, where they are going to be, and to add some of the definition for the year. Also, we need the cut on the nose. It's going to be something like this over here and over here, and here and on top. And this should be BMT again. I don't want to move the lock away. I want to have the lock because I'm going to use it for the modeling and I want the weight to work on top of the, the mass of the bear. So if I move the lock away, I'm not going to have a reference to use like the liquid state that I want to have on this guy that it's like falling over or dropping over the the luck. So I really prefer to stay with the with the luck on let's try to block out the face with or different uh, references we're going to start working with this reference right now so for the part top part of the face we need to have something over here I'm going to go to the standard brush uh, standard brush is T again so I'm moving here I can see that we have some uh, shapes over the eyes, like the bras and some drape effects. Over here, I'm going to bring now uh, some spheres. to use for the eyes, just a basic sphere. I, I want quite small eyes, I don't want big eyes. I know that he should have his eyes closed, but I don't really care. I still need 
to have some eyes to move. Let's try to see where are going to be the eyes with the reference in mind. Something like here. I'm using a weird perspective. I already make the perspective work on uh, based with based on the camera that we have before. So it's not right for C version. I, when I try to do a snap into uh, the cameras, it's going to go crazy as you can see. And I can actually see the details that I want to see. So maybe here and maybe here. Okay, so let's get back to the groom, the model. I'm always saying groom. So I have both of my eyes and uh, he sees so silly and weird. I'm going to move this eye a little bit to the, okay, that's it. So I'm going to start making the shapes for the eyes, I have to cover the eye and I have to cover everything over here. So let's block out the shape. He's sleeping, so he's sleeping and he's quite relaxed. So he shouldn't have uh, an ugly thing over here or ugly anything so this should be the lid the eyelid and this should be the other eyelid um, let's go to them standard it should be brush them and T it's not working okay the dam standard is here I closed I'm going to work with the lids eyelids and let's work so right now he should be sleeping and let's move to the move tool. Maybe the magnify should be better to the in flat right now. It's in flat should be better to define this part. I want to feel that I'm having an eye under the eyelids, and I can see some shapes over here that are falling. Part. Again, this is the basic model. So from this side, it doesn't look quite right. But if I see it over here, I see that he's falling. And let's move to the move tool again, the move topological. And let's go a little bit over here. And with this guy, I'm going to move a little bit here. And I want him to feel relaxed, not like he's going to be awake at any minute. I want to feel that he is falling apart. And for that, I will need to move the back part a little bit and the bras. I will need to make them relax and to have the sensation that he's in a, some kind of liquid state and that he's actually falling over the mesh so he's falling over the tree you can see that i have at last the basic shape i'm going to save so i have here the basic shape that i wanted now i need to define all the 
the mouth. Here he should have under the eyes like a drop a shape that it's defined by something like this. He should be pulling this part over here because he's quite deep asleep. So it should be something like this. I'm using a uh, low res and I'm trying to push the limit of the resolution. I don't want to go over too much of my resolution because that's going to make me lose some details that I don't want to lose. So I can see everything here. Maybe he's pulling a little bit more over here. So he's quite asleep right now. I can see that this part it isn't working quite well. BMT again to go to the move topological tool and I'm going to start making a mask and pulling everything to define the shape. So I make a max again and pull everything to define and I'm going to make a bigger cut over here and try to make a little smooth to make the mesh look better and maybe not me okay. I'm going to use the standard brush to define again the border and I'm going to use the standard brush again to define the other border also I will need to define the lips that he's going to have tone lips for the tone lips I will need to define everything over here a little bit more and maybe I'm going to have something dropping over his mouth and pulling over here so I will have to take that into account and I need to fix the maybe he's not that right on that side you can see he's like falling apart here and it looks good but over this side it doesn't quite look good let me see if I can push this thing over here and pull everything a little bit more and maybe drop him like he's just swollen and like he's really falling over in deep sleep. Pulling too much the nose. Okay. Uh, I will need to move the geometry over here. So he kind of feel that he's falling over himself. I will fall this part. I will move this part over here. This should be a different texture. So he should be falling a lot more. And I need to define better. That looks like a duck right now. If you see the front part, it's look like a duck. I don't have the definition that I need. Uh, so um, I'm not going to care at this at this stage. I'm just going to pull a little bit. It's just the front and I'm not going to render the front. I'm going to render from the side so I can make him look like a duck because it's looking great on the side. I'm going to go to smooth to smooth the detail out. I don't need that hard shape, but I do need a little bit of shape. So I'm going to drop intensity a little bit. 
maybe a little bit more like 20 yep that's way better so you guys can see that I have finally a little bit of shape and the face and I have the form here I have the shape here I don't need to move the eye to close over the other eye I'm going to move everything over here a little bit more maybe I'm going to move the brows to be over here I think that with that ah, okay this one doesn't looks quite well it's better right okay I think that I already have the basic shape for the face I'm not going to do anything more with the basic shape I uh, remember that I'm working right now with Dynamesh so Dynamesh is not the perfect shape to work so don't try to work with Dynamesh at least for give details it works amazing as you can see I lost all the details that I, I had there on the tail so maybe I'm going to make a fix and I'm going to cut the face later and add the face to the whole mesh I don't I don't know I have to see and I don't know I think I'm not going to make too much of the finishing to the old part so maybe I know what to do okay maybe yeah let's try to change everything I'm not going to use Dynamesh anymore let's remove the Dynamesh and now let's try to use a Siri measure tool and uh, let's try to use 10 series measure a uh, full series measure i'm not going to use anything on the series measure just uh add the tool and see what it's going to have as a result okay i lost some of the detail that i had i don't really care I have the basic shape that I wanted. Maybe it was too little detail, also maybe five. Remember that I'm working uh, with zero measure because I don't actually need a perfect uh, geometry. I'm not going to animate this big guy. I'm just going to use him for the. Uh, Maybe it's too much information over here. I think it should be okay, actually. Let's go back. Let's go to 20, zero measure. I'm going to uh, project the geometry on top of the other geometry to have the face to work the way it should. So we'll see. And now it's working maybe I should duplicate this one and make the zero measure on this one just to project the information of the one that I was using with Dynamesh and to use that information of the face that has the, the eyelids and everything and the projection is going to work or at least it should work let's see that's the projection Let's see, I can't remember if I have to project one over the other. This one is the one that doesn't have the information. This one is the one that has the information. So I want to project uh, this guy on this guy. So let's see if that's the way that it should. Uh, I think I make it backwards. So this guy should have the information from the other guy. So something like this project. Let's see. Geometry. I need to add more information. I'm going to add four subdivisions. I'm working with two million polygons to make the projection. So let's see if the projection is going to work now. 
it's projecting, it's in process. So let's see if, the, if it is working. It should be working. And yeah, I have the right amount of information and it's working right now. As you can see, I also have like a buggy thing here, but I don't really care. Um, I just can clean that up. And right now I have a subdivision mesh that is working and has the information that I need. So I'm going to work with the second level of subdivision. Again, the same concept. I'm going to try to work with the lowest subdivision until I can't add more detail. I'm going to go to a higher subdivision level. So let's try again. I'm going to use the reference again just to define some parts of the mesh. So BST and that should be B BST, the standard brush. So I'm going to start working with the standard brush to give a little bit more of definition over our eyelids and to make the bras. And something like this, it should be coming something also over the eyes and it should be falling that that everything on this verse should be falling apart. I need to, I'm going to put it down just to make this side. I need the gravity to pull everything and to define, to help me define the mouth. For that also I can use a pinch. I'm going to use the dummy standard first to define a little bit more the mouth. Remember that this guy is not going to be for animation, so it's just a steel. I can make some I can take some liberties over the mesh. And I can just hide some of the details over here and hide off some of the details over there. That nose looks weird. Also, I will need a little bit here. Maybe I need. Uh, I'm looking for an inflat. Should be better to use then. And okay, with this part, I think that we have the definition that I needed, and I should start working on the nose right now. For the nose, I need some other references because this one is not going to work for the type of nose that I choose for the mesh. I'm going to define a little bit more the eyes. So I'm going to go to the damn standard. And I'm going to drop Okay, so you can see I'm reaching the limit of the information that I can achieve with the uh, with the tools here. Because the level of polygons are too low and for the face at least I need a little bit more of information. So I'm going to move to the ears. I need to define the years a little bit better, not too much. Again, I'm going to put fur and everything. So when I put the hair and the fur, it's not going to look again, all parts of the model. The only part that should be uh, visible, at least should be the sides of the mouth and the ear. Not that much, but it should be some parts visible here. So I have to take uh, that details uh, at, least, at least to work. OK, 
Okay. With that, I think that I have the amount of detail that I can achieve with this level of resolution. I'm going to move to the tail. I have to fix the tail. When I did the Dynamesh, I destroyed the tail that I had. So I have, have to fix it again. Maybe I'm going to keep going, working this way. I was going to try another brush. Ah, this should work. Okay, that's the tail again. So everything should be working now. I need to define the years with a better uh, tuning look because right now they are like splotchy and doesn't have a, a, a good face. So I'm going to use a pinch. For the pinch, I'm going to use it to define the angles a little bit more. So you can see that I now have some angles that are working and that's it. So with that, I have a working ear. I need to make a hole over here. And for that, I'm just going to use something like this. Okay. Now I need more resolution. So let's go to a higher level of detail. Let's save this guy. Spare five. Uh, when I finish this project, I'm going to share all the files. So I'm going to share the series files and everything. And I think I don't need any of these files after I am done with the shaders and with the final model. So why should I keep them? I'm going to work with the topological again to close the eyelids. I need some better resolution here. And as you can see, the nose is getting better. So it's starting to work. I don't know why I really work to, I really like to work with the move tool to define shapes. That's part of my workflow, I think. For me, it's easier to define everything. If I just move the areas that I want to be close to each other instead of trying to sculpt the, the sides and to have a working geometry. So, and for something like this, that is like pulled by gravity. So it's like, let's see if I can take that, that feeling of that he should have. And brush, standard T. So I have the standard brush again. And let's define the lips. So for the lips, I will need a good resolution here. This is the blocked. So I will need to have a better resolution yet than this one. I'll need a lot of resolution on this side because the lips has to have a, a hard shape over here. So maybe something over here also to define the lips. And in this part, he they have like some kind of, I don't even know what to say. It's like a part look like cloth that feels like cloth that should drop the standard under the, the mouth and 
falls over everything. So let's see if I can get the daily. They have like the lips perfecting the inside of the mouth, but also on this part, this part here, it's going to fall over. And he's so asleep that maybe he's even dropping everything. So this part here, I'm going to do the definition first and to explain what I'm going to do to make that part fall, that part of the skin fall over the other part. I'm going to start first defining the insides of the mouth. I don't want to add anything uh, inside of the mouth. So I will try to stay away from tits, the teeth. And something like this. I'm going to define the standard, standard T with the standard brush a little bit more this part. I don't want to have a misconception over here. So I'm going to pull this on top and this part over here and I'm going to do it. Okay. I have everything here and I really want, let's try it again, BST, just to define both parts, both sides before I do the definition there. I don't want to have the definition over here. I, I want it here. Yeah, that's the place where I want to have the definition. So that's the lip, he's snoring. And I want this part over here to fall. So let me define a little bit this. And I want this part to fall over this part. So let's mask this out and move to the move topological. It should be or the move elastic maybe. Plastic is not the best choice. Let's go to topological. I think it's smoother so I can achieve a better result to have that fall in effect. go to the in flat magnify maybe should work also yep magnify it's working and BMT and I have the shape now let's define again the lip with the standard brush that was just to define that the lips that i was going to use is this is not the, the standard brush so it's easier to define everything now this part is falling over and this part over here is the lip And I need 
is I need this lip to be wide bulgy something like this let's define a little bit more the, the shape of the nose Okay, and let's move again. I, I really like to move everything a lot. It's helped me, it helps me uh, to, to have a better uh, understanding of the shapes and to make a better composition of everything. I know that the shape is not going to be seen on the side, but I really want to have a working side. Okay, now I should work on the nose. So for the nose, again, I'm going to go to the dummy standard. The dummy standard is a perfect brush to define detail. So if you don't have the dummy standard, try to download the brush. It's amazing. It's really old. It has years, but it's one of the best brushes that I have known in Seabridge. I really like to use the dummy standard just too powerful to define uh, details. Always when you're sculpting, try to move your mesh to see if you're working right and you're defining the shapes. You're not losing detail that you shouldn't lose. As you can see, I'm, I'm having a better shape on the side that is not going to be seen on the render. And that's sad. So I'm going to work right now on the face, on the eyelids. And again, I'm going to move to the dummy standard. I'm going to close his eyes. And I'm going to work some of the wrinkles quite bulgy muscle wrinkles as it is a bear it's like whoa I have muscles even on my face so he's like Terry Crews and he's sleeping it's quite scary it would be quite scary as a bear so I'm going to define the shapes I'm going to smooth out the detail, try to get the most of the definitions, the most of the detail that I can. I don't really want to do a smooth yet. I have to work on the fits. I think I'm going to put some nails only. I'm going to leave the fits like they are, almost like they are, and put some nails just to define. I don't want to have a bird with five marks, so I'm going to leave my bird uh, uns as unscratched as possible. It's a tomb bird, it's not a fighter. So I'm going to try. I can't promise that I'm not going to, oh, I like that scar, but I'm going to try to make a cleaner and tuny bird for the concept. So I think that I'm close. Maybe I will need some more detail over there, some more detail over here, but 
scene the mesh and the bear over here I can see that the bear it's working right now if I put the lock here and he's just sleep and he's so happy maybe the definition that I have on this part of the lip is too much I just need to define the lip and the top part so B EM is the standard the time standard brush maybe I just need to define these parts and it's smooth and let's go for uh, in flat over here and it's smooth again and with the move tool as always kind of smooth it out I'm not going to use pinch for this one he's a snoring remember that he's like Rrr. Uh, then standard I'm going to define the inside of the lip again I will need to define with the time standard that's why I love this brush uh, brush dam standard I'm going to define some of the wrinkles that should be on the bear and the eye wrinkles should exist here and over here maybe just a tiny bit that's for the groom it's going to help the groom a lot actually and now I'm going to define some of the wrinkles You can see that I'm using just the dummy standard and the soft of the smooth uh, brush with shift and that's how I'm modeling most of the definition that I need for everything I remember that I'm going to use this um, with fur so I don't need the model to have a lot of definition just enough to work and enough to see uh, a good result over here so maybe I should do something like that and I think that the model should be almost done I need to define this shape here but I think I will need to uh, use let's see if I can use it with the dumb standard if not I will need to uh, add a little bit of geometry. I don't want to. I really don't want to add geometry. Maybe I will leave it here, just like that. And I can add more definition with the fur and just go a little bit with the fur and try to define this part here with fur and not with the mesh itself as the Zero measure didn't work quite well in that part. I didn't paint the zero measure, so that's why I didn't put some guides on or anything on the measure. So he doesn't know what to do on that side. And as you can see, I don't have the right configuration here on the model. So maybe I can fix this part a little bit I think I can't but I'm going to try anyway 